I'm back with another uh, lesson video. I'm doing push it today. It was one of the ones that was uh, requested in the comments. I was uh, gonna do eulogy next, but since uh, I haven't done, uh, I haven't played push it in a while. I might do that one. I, I was like just thinking I'm just gonna do that one. Stick with that one. So um, we're gonna start uh, the guitar. The tone is turned all the way off. So. Uh, And uh, the effects that are, you're going to be using for this song are the flanger, the DD3 delay that he's been using forever, and then the dot EQ, or any EQ you have as long as you have it set up the way he has it set up. So you could use a GE7 or the MXR 10 band EQ. In my case, I'm using the uh, FX40B. So uh, let's get started. So tone all the way off, and then uh, you start with 10, 9. And then uh, seven, five, and then you're gonna be open your, uh, you're gonna be playing your uh, open A. Uh, would you play those? And now when you play that, you can just play it. You can just hit the the notes. But when you do seven and five, you can kind of do a little, like you can kind of bend them to have that uh, ring out a little bit better with the open A. kick in you play so it's uh 10 9 uh so it's d a d 10 9 and then you start again with 7 5 so once you hit that can turn on your BF2. So you want to finish on seven there. So it's let me do that again. So to that seven that's when you turn on the uh, the bf2 and you can tell in the album that that's how he's doing it so and then that keeps on going and then you get this uh thing there's two ways you can play it. Uh, at first, I would play, so, so it's uh, seven, nine, so seven on your D, nine on your G. And the flanger is still on on this bit. So. The other way you can do it is just uh, with your open A. So 14 and 12 on your D. I would play this the uh, seven nine five seven seven nine uh, ten twelve sliding back but I started just recently playing it with uh, the A and then the D string
off your BF2 and then back to the main riff. And then you do the whole, uh, the chorus part is with the... Uh, with the same uh, 10 9 uh, 7 5 now for that part you turn on uh, the uh, when you just hear the guitar uh, pick scrapes and then the bass in the background you can turn on your BF2 and then your delay and then for this it sounds almost like his tone knob is uh, rolled all the way up so he's doing Sounds like there's like a pick scrape there. And then uh, turn off the flanger, the delay, and then go back to. anymore now this part you're on seven you go to five I'm sorry seven to six three you slide to five again to seven This time you do like a palm mute. Back to five. And then ten nine. And then land on three. And then you do the. So it's three. Low, three. And then you slide it to ten. fret so just your a string on the 12th fret and then you start uh, fretting on your 10th uh, fret on the D string you slide from 10 to 9 just on the D string you still leave your finger on the uh, a on the 12th fret turned on and your delay and then you can roll back the tone all the way on again so he uses the toggle switch 
for that, but right now mine is kind of messed up, so I have to keep it on the uh, down position because uh, if I turn it all the way up, even though my volume is turned down, you can still hear the neck pick up, so I have to get that fixed. But with the DD3 and then the flanger, it's just going um, on and off with the volume. next part uh, is a little bit, uh, it's going to be a little bit hard for me to explain because I play it different than he does and um, I've seen a lot of people play it different ways too so uh, it, I mean it sounds the same to me, it sounds pretty close so I'll do my best to try to, so he does 14, uh, 15, so on your G string is 14. B string is uh, 15. Seventeen. That's how I play it. Uh, again, I saw on my other video of the patient. Uh, someone told me how to play the um, that part correctly. So if you can do that for this video again, that'd be pretty helpful for all of us. But this is how I played that clean part. So it's 15, I'm sorry, um, 14, 15, 17, 15, 14 again. 12, 8, and then, so 12, 8, 10, and then I slide it out like that, and then you can hear the, the bass. does this thing again now this this one uh, this third time that he's doing it he does this thing which I'll go over right now that's how I play it <clears throat> so again he's doing so 14, uh, 15, and then I'm going from on my uh, B string, I'm doing uh, 11, 10, 10, 8, uh, 8, 7, 7, 5, 5, 3, and then, so on your E string and B string is three. So it's, uh, no, this is not the saliva version. This is the album version. But I do play some saliva parts in here. Uh, so it's three five. I'm uh, five three, and then uh, three on your B string, and then B G both uh, second fret. And then you hit the second fret on your G string, and then the third fret of your uh, B string. While you hold that, hit the uh, fifth fret on your B string. So five, three, five. Now the fourth time he's doing it, he does again. And then this is what I play. So, which is uh, open D and then uh, second fret of the G. 
fret on the uh, D string, and then open G, and then uh, hit the second fret, and then I land on the uh, A string on the third fret. second fret on the G string and then open and again BF2 and the delay are turned on and then uh, at this part he goes back into the turned on with the flanger and then you can turn down the uh, the tone all the way off again for that part seven to the fifth fret and then when you do that you want to do some uh, you want to pull the strings down and then you uh, start uh, picking really fast on the seventh fret of your D, stri uh, D string to 12 and then from 12 to 14 15 17 you want to do a little bend and then after that you go to 7 so it's uh so it's uh 7 on your uh A and D and then it's uh 6th fret on your G string and then you want to slide into the 12th fret with the G on the 11th fret into the 5th uh, fret and then here you want to turn your tone all the way on and then you want to hit your EQ to have that sound really really high so and then here he does so he goes uh, fifth fret on the E eight seven so three uh, on the E string it's fifth uh, fret uh, eight on the B string and then seventh on the G and then on the G string on the second fret with the EQ turned on with the flanger and the delay With that, he is hammering on. So he's going uh, three five open three open. And then he starts doing open two three five. And as you're doing that, you want to do pinch harmonics. Pig scrape. And then you want to go on the 12th fret, and then on the 14th fret on your uh, D string. You slide to 15. And 
then on the D on the D string uh, on 17. And then you want to bar the whole 17th fret. And then back to 12. and still with the uh, DD3 and then you want to do and then after that you can turn off the EQ you don't really need the EQ anymore but you still do need the flanger and the DD3 so you're doing on the D string 5-7 and then uh, again with the pinch harmonics now this next part people play it different again I've seen him play it different and I play it different so I do G string and then you play uh, the open A at the very end so it's let me turn off my delay so I can explain it a little bit better so I'm using uh, the G string so open on the second fret I slide it to um, the ninth fret to 12 12 uh, 7 Six, uh, nine. So I slide it from uh, twelve to seven, six, nine, back to six, and then open eight.
and then you go back to that again. <laughs> again uh, with the uh, uh, open D so it's this time seven so it's seven three ten and then you want to give it a slight bend and then again um, flanger and then delay on so again he's doing the same thing from 3 sliding to uh, 10 and then again Sliding from uh, ten to um, nine, and he's holding the uh, twelfth fret on the D string. You turn off the delay. Still, uh, you can still leave the flanger on, and then he's doing. So he's doing the same thing with the uh, 12th fret on the uh, A string. And then you bar uh, 10. From 10 to 8, back to uh, this. for the uh, the flanger for kind of like the ambient sounds and then the delay for you know to fill up those like uh, that's the song I'm probably gonna do uh, H because uh, I'm, I'm kind of I kind of want to get uh, over with the ones that don't have the tone because those are a little bit harder to hear on the album so I'm probably gonna do H uh, hooker and then I'll do uh, you know I'm probably gonna go over the whole Anima album might as well and then I'll continue with the lateralis ones 10,000 days for inoculum but hopefully this one is helpful and hopefully you enjoy it uh, I'm having fun doing these uh, so far even though it's the second one but uh, I'm going back. I've been struggling with anything that's down here. I, I have to count the frets in order to for me to go like, oh yeah, this is on the 15th or the 14th or the 16th. So, um, 
I'm doing my best to make sure you guys get what I'm trying to play. And even though it's not 100% correct to what Adam is playing, um, if you have the effects, it sounds really, really close. So again, hope you guys enjoy this one. And uh, I'll see you on the next uh, lesson.